I stand before you, I step before you today recovering from home. I'm in day 30 of my battle and journey with COVID-19. And um, it's a horrific story. Um, there's not anything pleasant about it. And I said before you as a survivor, I never thought I would use that word, but I want to tell you just a little bit and then give you some encouragement so that you don't have to endure what I've endured. You see, back on June the 6th, I, July the 6th, I first had symptoms and um, body aches, all the things that you're told. I went to a local clinic. I was tested. I had COVID-19. The health department called and said, go ahead and go on home. You're healthy as can be, no underlying conditions, just hydrate and take vitamins. And I thought I would get over it. The truth is I never thought I would get this. I'm, I, I'm disciplined in my health. I'm probably like a lot of people out there. I wasn't anti-vax by any stretch of the imagination. I encouraged a lot of people, especially senior adults, to move forward with the vaccination. But I, the truth was I was a bit cavalier. I just didn't think it would happen to me. And as I settled in, I had doctor friends come and make house calls. I received all the regimen of what you might expect to receive with antibiotic and steroid and albuterol treatments. But after 10 days into my quarantine, I realized that I was not winning the battle that COVID was. And so I desperately told my family, which I would never do, that I needed to go to the hospital. We chose Baylor Dallas because of connections that I had there. And I entered into a fight for my life. And when I tell you that, I don't say that lightly. Um, in the dark, in my own bed, all alone in a COVID room, and I'm still getting emotional about it. Um, I fought for my life and by God's grace and through just sheer determination and the good graces of extraordinary medical personnel, I sit before you today, uh, 11 days in the hospital, two days and two nights in an ICU unit, suffering from severe sepsis as well as acute upper respiratory failure due to COVID-19. I saw the x-ray of my lungs because of pneumonia and I knew I was in trouble. I fought to take breaths. I was sipping air off the top of my lungs and just um, by the grace of God, as I say, and a lot of great respiratory therapy, I was able to get released. Um, I, 10 days ago now, I've been here at my house. And, um, but I'll tell you that COVID goes on. I have a full body rash in my upper body right now. Um, I've lost a lot of hair. Um, I've had uh, my teeth loose in their sockets in my mouth. Uh, most of that has begun to resolve itself, but I have begun to try to recover. Um, my muscle weakness is extreme. I just want to tell you one thing that I, I did not receive the vaccine because I was, I was cavalier and I was wrong. Uh, I didn't think it could touch me, but the truth is if it can touch me, it can touch anybody. So I've asked God to use my story to encourage others. And I just simply want to say to anybody who's watching, it can impact you. Um, it might impact you. And the best course of action for you is to take this vaccine. I know you have a choice. I know that you have the right to have something foreign put into your body. But I'm just asking you to learn from my story. You don't have to go through what I've gone through. And you can be protected from this. And I pray my story helps. I pray it encourages you. I pray you'll get the vaccine. God bless you and thank you for allowing me to share.